Good morning YouTube, Handy Camper here. Thanks for coming over, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for watching. Today we're going to be making a Mississippi pot roast or a Mississippi roast. Some people call it a Mississippi mud roast. Four simple ingredients. I'm going to show you how to do that today. And we're going to see what it tastes like. I'm really curious. So you guys stick around and we'll uh, show you how to do that. Alright guys, there's the ingredients. Of course you got your meat and your four ingredients I was talking about. You need a stick of butter. Today we're going to be using the Blue Bonnet. That's one of my favorite butters. We're going to be using some pepperoncini. Got the mild peppers there. We're going to be using some Aju gravy mix. I've got the McCormick brand. And the Hidden Valley Ranch salad dressing seasoning mix there. That's the only ingredient you need. And of course your uh, your crock pot of choice. So let's get this thing started. All right, guys, I broke my tripod. I was trying to put it up in the cabinet right here so you could look down <laughs> at the uh, shot there, but we'll do it this way. Sorry for all the shakiness. I was trying to get a good shot there. But... All right, we're gonna start with our hunk of meat. You just throw it in there just like so. Meat, check. We're gonna start with the Aju gravy mix. And we're just gonna put that on there like so. They say you just dump it in there. You ain't gotta worry about putting it on both sides and all that jazz, just throw it in there. Aju gravy mix, check. Next up, we have our ranch seasoning, salad dressing mix. They say to use the salad dressing mix, not the dip mix. So again, we're just going to sprinkle that on there. A little bit of everywhere, doesn't matter. I'll put some underneath there. Put that on there. Check. Now then... Get our big old slab of butter. Pop it right in the middle. Just pop it in there just like so. You don't have to cut it up in pieces or anything like that. From what I gather, just throw it in there. Let it ride. Butter, check. Alright guys, we got the uh, pepperoncinis here. And people say if you use uh, the videos that I've seen, to use around four to five. And I've seen a couple of videos where they've used three or more pounds of meat and they wish they'd put more of these in there. So I've got a little over, about two and a quarter pounds, just about. So I'm gonna use about five. I got one big one there. These things are so good. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put three whole ones in there and I'm gonna cut a couple of them into pieces to put in there. Maybe that'll release a little bit more flavor. But let's get these cut up, we'll put them in there and uh, put the lid on there and I'll bring you back in a little bit. These things are so juicy. I cut a couple of those and just juice went flying. But I'm going to put a couple little whole ones in there. We'll put this bad boy right on top right there. Let it melt down in there. Put one there. I'll put one over here. And I'll put a couple of these pieces around. That's going to all melt in together. All those peppers are so juicy. I love those things. Let's see if I can't dump the juice that spilt right here. There we go. Let's get that juicy goodness in there. And even though it's early in the morning, <laughs> I think I might have to have a couple of these right now. I love those things. All right, guys, we got her on low. Gonna let this cook for about eight or so hours. Some people put it on high and let it cook for eight hours. I'm gonna put it on low.
All right, guys. Last minute, I decided I'm going to add just a little bit of that juice in here. Just a little bit. There we go. Hey guys, welcome back. We've got the uh, the meat's been going for about nine and a half hours. Wifey camper got home from work and we ran a few errands. Now we're back, so we're going to uh, open this up, take a look, and uh, try it out, see what it tastes like. So let's get you turned around here. Well, let's check it out. Oh, we got some steam action. Hang on just a minute. Hmm. Camera steam. There we go. Let's take a look at that, guys. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good. All right, wife of camera's going to get in there with the forks. I think maybe oh, yeah. Falling apart. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. It smells so good. Look at that. It's falling apart, guys. Yeah, in big chunks. And I'm gonna let you know if the uh, spice, the uh, ingredients ratio is good for this two, a little over two pound. Oh. But for it need a little less, we'll find out. Just gonna put it over here on the plate. <laughs> and we're gonna try that out. Ooh, see what it tastes like. Let me get the camera turned back around. All right, been waiting nine and a half. Nine hours and 45 minutes to eat this. Wife of Camper, you want the first bite? Here we go. Just gonna try it out. Be honest now. Mississippi roast. The tender? Mm-hmm. Check it out, guys. I have been wanting to do some kind of different roast, and that is different. Okay. <laughs> For a, a little over two pounds, those dry ingredients work really good. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. And I probably could add some more peppers in there, actually. I put five in there. That was plenty. I can taste it. Can you? Mm -hmm. I have a little can of... It's good. I could, I, for my taste, I could have added some more peppers in there. Wifey Camper says no. You gotta have some more? I gotta have a little bit more. <laughs> I'll let Doggy try it too. Mm, let's try that again. A hot bite. <laughs> yeah, because he just dropped his phone behind the stove. Yeah. <laughs> that is delicious, guys. Mmm. And that juice that's in there? Yeah. <laughs> that's good. It's uh, four simple ingredients. We got your uh, au jus gravy mix, your ranch uh, salad dressing or seasoning mix, not the dip. <laughs> you got the hot one, huh? Um, a stick of butter and uh, pepperoncini. Pepperoncini peppers. <laughs> That's all you need. And you don't, I didn't put no juice in there. Look, look at all the juice. I didn't put no liquid in there except for I put a little bit of the pepper liquid in there, just a tad, just around, just a heck, just a mm -hmm. little bit, just a splash. That's delicious. You can actually put, could probably cut up some onions to put in there with it too, I bet. That would be really I good. I think it's good the way it is. The original recipe calls for um, uh, Italian, the, the uh, powder Italian dressing mm -hmm. mix instead of the ranch, from what I understand, but everybody uses the ranch instead, and I can see why. That's... Really good. Yeah. What do you think, Wifey? I like it. And that's that'll be really be really good. I watched a couple of videos where people put those on like hamburger buns and eat it kinda of like a barbecue sandwich or <clears> something <throat> like that. But I, that'd be really good with some potatoes and carrots on the side or, or some green beans, potatoes. Or some rice. Or some rice. Because we bought an Instapot today. <laughs> we sure did. That'll be some more videos coming up, so we went from rice going to buy a rice cooker. To gonna buy a rice cooker and then some, and then we decided on the Instapot. We was going to get this the little cheap rice cooker because I wanted something I could just set and forget, <clears throat> make some rice, and it was like around twenty bucks, give or take. And then we looked over and there was like a bigger one that you could do like little some meals and stuff in, and it was like uh, 
like 25, 30 bucks. And then you look over here and you see the Instapot, it was like $10 more. It's like, let's just go ahead and get the Instapot. So we got an Instapot. Everybody always making stuff in the Instapot, <laughs> so. All right, guys. Very simple, very delicious, very easy. Try it yourself. I don't need to put the ingredients down below because it's so simple. <laughs> go back and watch the video all over again <laughs> to hear the ingredients. All right, guys, this is like the second day. This is our leftovers. Got the Mississippi roast there. Gonna put it on top of some rice that we just made in the Instapot. I need the juice. You need some juice. Oh yeah, let's chomp down on some of this. Well, there we go. Big old bowl full of goodness. The peppers over there and some rice and the meat. Let's give it a shot and see what this tastes like. Mississippi roast, guys. With some rice. Mmm. Now, I should have done a video with the Instapot, but we just made rice on it, in it. So, there'll be some more Instapot videos for sure, because first time ever having one. It cooks that rice perfectly. Mmm. That's delicious. We're making that again. Mm -hmm. Take care, guys. <laughs> thanks for coming over. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, practice. We're out.